Let me know you are gone. What the, buddy? Suzanne, the plans they made for an interview. What a good boy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so handsome. A good boy. Good dog. Good boy. I was showing that video of that dog uh, because I had a dog just like that and they are great dogs. They seem super, super mean, but they are super, super friendly dogs. Right here, uh, Rio Vista, Sandy Beach, doing some striper fishing today. I'll uh, show you guys uh, the lures that I showed the other day, um, how to use them and how effective they are. We'll see if we have a good day. And I'll talk a little bit about the tides and how important tides and uh, water clarity is. Whew. As you can see, I'm by myself today. And there's quite a few boats here behind me. Uh, so it looks like a pretty good day. It's a little choppy out there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, just launched her by myself here. First time, no problem. Not too bad. It's pretty choppy out here though. Got a little waves going on. So we'll have to see the water clarity. It doesn't look too muddy right now. Uh, but we will see. Dang, I thought that was my phone. Just the phone case. That wouldn't be a good start. All by yourself and drop your phone in the water. No problem. All right, all by myself today, guys. We'll see about getting this thing back up. It's gonna be a different story. Yeah, buddy. What the heck? A package at my door. Must be Christmas time. See, we're looking for these pockets or these shelves right here. See how this is a pocket and it goes underneath and all these fish are hanging out right there? That's what we're looking for. And it looks like, see on this bottom one here, it looks like it's some grass to uh, some hydrilla. Uh, they love hanging out in that stuff, wait for bait fish. But wow, there's a bunch of them. All right guys, so when you're spooning, you wanna make sure you're all the way on the bottom, somewhere around 20, 20 feet of water and if you guys could see this when I go up with my pole and then drop it down 
my line actually right here kind of does a little bounce see that at the end there it's probably really hard to see but that's when you know you're on the bottom you're bouncing on the bottom the water clarity right now Rio Vista area uh, it's somewhere around two feet it definitely dirtied up pretty quick it's probably a little less than two feet clarity and it's windy out here and if you guys stop hitting the bottom all you gotta do is just just let the line out until it stops and then you're back on the bottom right now i'm just drifting you could anchor up or you could drift along cover a little more ground just popping this thing up and down All right guys, I'm still doing some jigging with the spoon. Uh, the tides are really important around here. Right now it's about to be uh, incoming high tide, um, which means it's gonna start dropping after an hour or so. And then uh, it'll be slack tide pretty soon. And slack tide, usually you're not catching anything because there's nothing moving, the bait fish aren't moving. But uh, right now it should be a pretty good time kind of right now just drifting in the middle of the channel seeing what I could do I'm probably gonna relocate here in a second and do a little scouting I'm pretty I don't know if this is a fish or oh got some hydrilla I'm pretty close to uh, Sherman Island I'm just past the port, or the mouth, I should say, of the Sacramento River. Hooked onto some hydrilla there. Got a little action. <laughs> Alright guys, I've been out here uh, doing some spoons, throwing some uh, swim baits, and the water's dirtied up pretty good here in the Rio Vista area. Um, didn't bring any bait, but that might be the best bet right now, some bait. I'm going to try and do some trolling here. I got the P-Line uh, deep diver. It's about a 12 foot diver, and uh, I just got a worm, worm on the end of it, so I'm going to probably start heading back what it looks like right here key line's got the big tongue on it right there and then it's got the tail on the back right here all right guys got the p line predator i got the worm behind it and if you see the tip right here we're just trolling at a few miles an hour it's hard to see but that tip is bouncing 
that means it's working correctly. Once it stops bouncing, uh, it means you got something on hooked on there. It's, uh, it's not doing its correct job. So you want to make sure you see that tip bouncing when you're trolling. And then you'll know when you get a fish on. All right guys, I'm just doing a little trolling here, real slow. I'm just holding my pole, and uh, in front of me here, I don't know, about 30 yards out, there's a huge sea lion. So uh, that's good and bad. It means he's chasing the striper, but possibly chasing him away from me. Alright guys, what's going on? Just a little recap of uh, today. Um, got skunked, guys. Um, that water is really browning up a lot. And um, I talked to a few fishermen after uh, I was loading up my boat. And uh, most of all of them got skunked. Um, everyone who wasn't using bait. Uh, the guy that used, was using sardines, he uh, got their limits and they caught a bunch of fish. So the water is definitely murking up and uh, getting a little muddy. So I would uh, recommend uh, some sardines or some anchovies, uh, some kind of smelly bait. I was even putting scent on my lures and stuff and uh, still got skunked. I definitely got like two bites uh, on the spoon and I was trolling and I think I got a bite too um, with the predator pea line. But uh, yeah, once that water dirts up, guys, uh, the spoons and stuff are hard to catch fish on, and you got to turn to bait. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys.